This game mixes old Doom and new Doom, but with like an awkward flair. All those upgrades and you never did get yourself a chainsaw dick. What a waste. Turbo Overkill reminds me of old Doom with like the arcadey type of feel, but the movement and graphics of the new Doom. So if you like Doom, if you like Doom at all, this is the game for you. Now, this is not sponsored. Remember, no, none of my posts are sponsored, okay? I just saw this video and I was like, this looks like Doom, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. And it's actually available already. So I'm curious... You can watch the trailer. I'll put that down below in the description. But I'm curious to know kind of like what's going on in this game. It, it seems like it has, well, it has bad voice acting. I, I know that much, which could be could mean that it's a singular developer, which would also be awesome. But also kind of got me thinking, if it is a singular developer, man, we have leveled the playing field very much for people that are willing to make the game that they really want to make. It's kind of an odd thing to say out, out loud. But AAA Studios... Watch out. <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed with this game. I, I, I really am. Just from the trailer. Now, it, this is actually like a gameplay trailer. Like, this is what you're going to see when you play the game. And it's actually got some substance to its story, surprisingly. So, again, voice acting's terrible. But it kind of reminds me of the old arcade games when voice acting was and had to be terrible because the technology just wasn't there there yet. And I'm not really a fan of Doom. I liked the first Doom. The second Doom, I kind of like downloaded and played and I just wasn't really feeling it. Um, I, I couldn't get through like the first level really, to be honest. But I also put on like one of the hardest dif difficulties. So that could have been my problem. But I think I even brought it down to like normal and I just was just getting shit on. So I just, I just stopped playing it. But um, I think games like this are going to change the, the, the landscape. Like, Helldivers 2 already kind of did it. This game definitely is going to change the landscape and how we think about games. And it's kind of odd because we're going a little bit backwards in feeling versus forwards. Because forwards is like better graphics, better trailers. But I, I, I really think that we need a game that's got worse graphics but is actually fun. This game doesn't look, look 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 it doesn't look like it has microtransactions in it, but it might, I don't know. And it just it makes me it makes me gives me kind of some nostalgia as far as like gaming could actually be saved at this point. 